Yeah, Bioi still hasn't cleaned up his third base. It looks like Hydra actually stops the gas mining from that too. And while Bioi is, he was so close. He was so close to getting that snowball muta effect. Well, he still might. It's 18 to 10, and Hydra's uh, going to take this fight without an upgrade. Yeah, the Kerber's not quite done, and it's it might be enough. A queen pops in here. How many is it? I feel the problem is that like Hydra could really just throw it on three Eight score crawlers. Seven, and super 16? I mean, 16 is a lot. I mean, Bioi is totally winning. The yeah, air war. Absolutely, no question about that. Oh my god, he could actually go into this drone line. I'm not sure. I, he yeah, should really nap back up. I mean, he keeps disengaging earlier to keep this number. Oh my god, oh my god, he actually does it! With the mutas! <laughs> the first Just entirely the all those mutas. All about those gases. He does cancel at the very least, so it's not a kill. A little bit what dangerous. Let's pick one up. Second one hits half that drone line, and bio is now in a little bit of trouble. Loses nine drones right off the bat and still doesn't quite have control of his hydra now with a lot of mutalists giving chase. 12 to 11. Oh my god. 29 workers of 44, and like you said, there's no upgrade lead, there's really not a Muta lead this time, and He's by the way, yeah, it makes sense. kind of a lame pop out, but it's hiding them. Yeah, that's what gets a little bit scary. Sending those queens out to chase off the overlords uh -oh. at the front of the base as well, so he doesn't want Bios to see him move out. Now, sometimes this alone is indicative enough to know that this is coming. You're like, why are you sending two queens to clear me out, bro? It's not like, done, and Hydra does see that. Not that he has his own. Uh, He's actually dealing with this not too bad to start, but unfortunately, uh, this is a lot of lings that slip by. Yeah. That first queen had some nice Sim City surrounding It's just here. lings. It is just lings, but it is just simply working as well, so it doesn't matter yeah. if Hydra doesn't have those Bane lings. He's going to cause so much damage. Bioways might just lose his Bane lingness. Does he have any lings to make? Oh, he's just going to. GG. Uh, Not expected at my locations because you know where the army is. It's defending against your annoying harass. But this drop might have been a mistake. The units were pretty much in position. They're spread out as well. Uh, the SPs are pulled. And they get wrecked. Look, at, they that, get wrecked. look at that. Look <laughs> Perhaps a little too dedicated. Takes out the tank. He won't die to this push through the move Marine. Away. The army uh, does stim in here though. It's going to go ahead and take it down one tank before it even sieges the second one. Like it's one shot off. Secret missile going to come down with this move. Oh, that Marine does oh, stim him out nice of the way. Control. Nice control. Yeah. All right, so it's it really beautiful control. He has so many Marines left over. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the look, he keeps the medevacs alive. He keeps the medevacs alive. Only the first one's about to go down. He's going to focus the Vikings with the Marines. He's got nothing Yo, to stop that. He did a lot of damage. He's going to do even more damage to the SCB line. He's, he's up now more than 10 workers. And he's still taking an okay trade. In fact, Killers are... Do you still upgrades are good, but the oh, fact that Marines have God. them is huge. I mean, there's not really a worry of right now. Is a drop just boost in on top of a yeah, tank as well. Tank, but you know what? It's a sandwich. Is this going this to be concave, better for intense? This concave for Kelezer is looking really good. His upgrades finish as well. They're both nah. fighting on 1-1. One, one. Those tanks on the left side, they're just shredding the yeah. Marines. <laughs> oh, and like two of his medevacs just had a bunch of Marines in them. Uh, they didn't really help out there. Intense. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, yeah, it's just going to be running around the south but side. That Banshee is getting chased. If it comes yeah. down to it for Intense. Yeah, uh, Intense has a bunker, which you might not normally see. He has to break Intense's siege tank line right now. Is he going up Can there? like this means he's not going to have any uh -oh. further units uh -oh. coming into the game. But that tank gets a chance to oh see and obliterate some of the Marines. Vikings land on the other side of the map. It's getting crazy for both oh, sides. No. Oh, no. I think I think Kellis is going to do this. Yeah, so he's just had so. too much more on this side even, of the map. Even if all those Marines had lived and sniped the tank like they're supposed to, it still even would have been questionable because they just simply has GG. the better army. GG. Oh, no, the Reaper actually died, so even if he went up there at this point, it wouldn't be worth it. In fact, it looks like Intense took the better trade. Yeah. Or not. Uh, second heli comes in, though. The oh. Ojige! <laughs> I don't know about this push. The Banshee will kill the tanks, but... Oh, the they run into a tank. That's where it's at with that low health. Instead of being able to take that first hit, boom, obliterated. All the Marines go down. Auto oh, turrets no. and the Banshee cleaning up the tanks, and Intense gives away everything he has. Now Kelezer not only essentially free, those tanks are not quite close enough. Both of them know their range pretty perfectly. That's the mark of a really good Terran player. If you know the range of that siege tank before it sieges up, it's hard to eyeball, but they see is coming down. Look at those tanks, they obliterate the SCVs. Two tanks gonna go down here simultaneously. Oh. Oh, and no. while he might even be able to contend the air fight, that won't matter if there's no tanks on the ground. SCV's gonna try and get pulled for this, but unfortunately that means they're gonna stack, take that splash damage. Air fight should go in the favor of Kelezer still. One shots the Vikings, GG. a good game. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, Kelezer will attack. We'll basically be very, very aggressive with whatever units you have. And these aren't Bane Lings, they're just regular Lings, but they're still too scary for intense. Yeah, I mean, he does have the numbers in the Lings. There is more numbers, Ooh. but there is a Widow Mine there, and so many Ooh. of those Lings get taken out. Oh, oh no. my god, Biowise is something through, but he's behind on supply. And oh. it's funny. Oh, oh, oh no. I didn't see those little mines. Oh my god, and the Marines really better under them. They had four queens out there spreading creep onto his third by now, something crazy like that, right? Not really that scary a creep, and he's just pushing on a he's just pushing onto it anyways. Like yeah, he didn't care. <laughs> that all came down to the fact that he got that early gas. He could not afford the extra minerals for those additional yep. queens, and now He's feeling the pressure. There's yeah. just so many widow mines here and no banelings to contest against the GG. 
very closer to intense than it is by waste still, yeah. but it is a T-Rex. It's like a halfway proxy, like maybe like a... Occasionally the Overlord didn't, doesn't scout it, that's cool. But then Intense just picked Bywise, up the Bywise Marine. has to pull the drones. He doesn't really have enough links to deal Ooh, with this Ooh, I would get that Bailey Nest. Ooh, I wouldn't actually, actually I would get that Bailey Nest. I see it moving and jiggling and wiggling. I want to deny <laughs> that such a little hooks. Oh, oh too bad. He though. actually still... Oh, only just oh nice no, target fire. Go. Oh my god, it goes those three meters go down instantly. Four, five, oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Oh man, I was going to say, keeping those Middlers alive was just so important. And losing all the burrow Ooh, now. Ooh, there's no splits. He's gonna pick up. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, those wood of mines got some nice connections on the banelings. Trying to desperately defend. Oh no. Bird. Oh god. That's all oh, the mutas. That's a bit oh of a mistake. no. <laughs> that's game. <laughs> GG. Oh, it's be only oh, look at this positioning. Oh. Look at this positioning. Ooh. Those hellbats fire up all those legs. The hatchery dies. Wow. No cancel from Hydra. Kellas are getting some very good damage in here before going down with these hellbats. In fact, they're not even really going down. Walks away from the queens off of creep. They can't by a large margin. Oh, Kellos are on me on the creep. Yeah, off of creep, no problem. Oh, on the creep, a little bit risky. Hellbat's going to soak a lot of the banelings, though, so the marines don't have to. Wood mines would be a little bit better if they get the kills, but look at the focus fire on the banelings. Kelzer pops them all uh, up, takes care of the links. Now he's actually picking up some of the mutas. focus down by anything. He loses about two of them. Banelings roll into the SCV. Oh, oh my god. loses all the SCVs. Big loss, good hit for Hydra. And Zerg fans in the audience go nuts. <laughs> Planetary's all seven. Ugh. But uh, he'll clean up this army once again for another time. Picks off the last few medevacs, and Kellers has got to be feeling down. Yeah, that's. I cannot really say other thing except to just uh, you know GG. Oh. Oh. The links might just get it. They go for this round. What am I gets a decent shot off? But the big question was it enough? But it's looking like it might not be. Wow. Noodle has taken out everything in the middle of the map, and Kellers just simply loses his army. Medevacs falling is gonna be the worst part of this. Chance him back. We got the uh, banelings. That's a good win of mine <laughs> coming oh. off underneath these medevacs. Look at the spread from the marines to follow this up. Kelazar might just take a good engagement here. Focus fine down the last couple banelings. A lot of links coming in though, and he focuses they down some of the. Should be able to hold this, or at least soak most of the banelings. In fact, upon realizing those banelings oh are soaked, this could gosh. be the perfect engagement for Kelazar. There's it's no banelings. The ramp. Thor's gonna get some shots off. Maybe backs away. Spreads looking good once again, but there might just be too many banelings. Yeah, I mean, the splits were so sexy, but unfortunately, there's oh. just more coming from behind. That Thor's gonna go down, the medevacs are gonna go down, picks it up and dies in the medevac. What a way to go. People are gonna look back at this series and they're gonna see 2 0. Congratulations, Hydra. Look at that one shot that wins the game, but these Marines coming out one at a time, start splitting so the Hellings can't get their shots off. What am I? Oh, almost kills the Marines. First slice. Uh, repairs up that What am I, too? Nice, nice little touch. But he has a 600 meter. Well, mark. obviously, is one thing. Being able to deal with it is another. Which is the Marines' backs. Get on top of those tanks. And Intense's army is going to get crushed. Killing the tanks kills the push. Who cares about the Marines? Uh, he should have a med, but there's too many medevacs, I think. Yeah, gets on top of the base, gets on top of those tanks. Once again, See, production. Like, when he play bio, it's, it looks so awesome. But I don't think it was good on this map, and it obviously didn't benefit Ooh, Kelly. So you're going to boost on top God. of the tanks. Oh, with Marauders, with Marines! That's gonna do it! The group curse looking to be pretty good, Crank, as Intense starts off 1-0! Right now, yeah, those SCVs are mining, I don't think you make any, Crank. Look at the income drop. Oh my god. Kelzer has like eight idle SCVs. Oh, but okay, Intense is gonna lose SCVs. <laughs> okay, there is two magic drop on a Kelzer base. Yeah, T Jinx, RC, he's got oh, other birds to protect him as well. Is it gonna, SCVs ready? getting pulled! Uh oh. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Here comes that Banshee, but this might just win the game. We might just oh have that turnaround in intense. Ladies and gentlemen, cleans out the army of Kelazur. One Viking remains. Nothing left. Good game. How bad. They'll definitely still want to spread against oh, those Oh, they can soak those two spots, though. This will actually be great. Yeah, there's the spread. They did not end up doing that oh, while we were talking about it. It's, it's a pretty good spread, though, you know? But the roads are still alive. Medibank's but honestly, I think Hellbats are fine. Yeah, they have two fine. Banshees. Two Banshees is so much damage. He's lost a couple of SCVs, pulling them into this, but honestly, he sits on 35 with the orbital still standing. That's going to be three CCs yeah. to drop mules behind this. Yeah, the answer has failed to get the kite. Like, oh, there's actually a lot of supply they can kite and take down, but Hart was allowed to get to the other side of the map, set up into an almost choke right there, and there's just no hope GG for Xanthus' well army. He's choosing to go for it. It's not to go on top of the army, but it's caused so much havoc consistently in the main base, yeah. the natural, the third. I mean, God forbid he gets Burrow with this, too. He's actually going to transfer back what? into the Tabitas. Again, the big thing is he takes out production with this, or if he takes out production with Spider-Man, oh, he runs no. into a choke and gets killed oh, by the God. tanks! A slaughter for He knows that Sansa has to defend against this right here, right now. The mute is going to magic box on top of very useless 
doors, I swear to god. And this is why Vikings are absolutely um, necessary if you do face someone who goes mass mutas versus mech. It's the thing that's so annoying about those is they are fantastic for the entire left. Dancer might be able to pick up enough of these tanks, but these are tank run buys. This isn't a dedication. Splits the tanks back, but the ones that are left here are actually killing the hatchery. Nothing yeah, kills they... hatcheries fast. <laughs> Way a chance for on those Thors, but the Banshees, oh my god, the Banshees are actually going to take through those Ultras so quickly. The Vipers do get some planning but cards off those tanks. The Mutas Club! Oh god. Oh, he lost almost all the Mutas with this. Is this going to be enough with only a couple Ultras remaining? They're chewing through what they can. Banshees are tearing them apart, and these Banshees, I think, are going to be what wins this. I Maybe. can't believe how close this is. Dancer, Dancer had a huge bank behind it, though. The upgrade is still so going on. And then there's shots on, on the, ultras. the Ultras. But here comes the Mutas. Blinding Clouds uh, go down. GG. Now, as he sees the Roaches attacking back there. Now, of course, uh, I don't know if we mentioned it, but you guys see Stim. He's going to be able to chase down, I think, these units with yep. the Stim that did there's just a finish tank up. Too now. It's, uh, should yeah, be a that he did control. save, right? Yeah. There is a lot of um, dirt so he, made. he realizes he tries to pounce. Siege tanks to siege up right here. This would be a great spot to fall back to. <laughs> oh, he made just attack to the this absolute perfect timing. That was so dangerous. Focuses down the middle. He had no idea when those banelings were Yeah, it's his car going to be game without the surgical hooks and without just banelings in general. He's never going to reach those marines. Focuses those tanks are going to be useful. Of course, Hard, a pretty old player, remembers the days Good where you did always play. go tanks. Good game. Bailey will benefit these Broodlings. Already pushing the army back and getting some very free damage done. Infestor's looking for Fungals to hold the cells in place, forcing them to take some damage. No feedbacks, but instead a storm coming down. Oh, he's going to need both, though. Fungals his last couple of Zealots. Link's going to on top of the Stalkers. If he blinks forward, he can't attack. And this is just not going to work out front. He's getting Fungal Growth on the left. Storm's killing so many of those Links, though. Mothership Paul gets taken out and Tuck desperately trying to morph in an off on here, right in the middle of the engagement, but he taps GG. out. So, yeah, Hawks on that's 28 huge. army supply. What does he do to defend? So many Zerglings just surrounding the sentries instantly. Forces go down, but the sentries still fall. And the Hydras are now arriving to the party, just adding so much DPS, and all of Huck's forces are just falling to the sheer force of Jadong's army. Well, good game, guys. Jadong will take this series. I mean, who? Oh. Well, it gets on top of the sentries. Guardian shields pop like crazy. If he picks up enough of these, his ground swell will be nice. Huck losing very expensive Nothing units here. about this, but unfortunately doesn't do oh. enough either. And that's so many cannons. Six cannons at Huck's third. Catches those mutas. Blink Stalker's in the natural oh base. Blink Stalker's giving chase. Dancer's in a lot of trouble, and Hawk has total control of this game, despite the fact that his opponent still has 100 army supply. Hydra's yeah, are Dancer killed all Blink Stalker, but next to attack is gonna be three Blink Stalker. I mean, upgrade. But he's kind of yeah, yeah. so that's nice. But yeah, unfortunately, it's the important bases up here in the army engagement, and he's not gonna win. Hawk just trading at two costs effectively. Those plus three weapons working out really nicely for him. Only place. when they have a lots of unit or even upgrade the same. Good so game. Called Hawks gonna take map number one, ladies. Uh, enough brought. Well, the zealots are gonna deal with the links pretty easily. Here comes Ooh, that back attack though. Force fields weren't ready for this. Dancer does get a bit of a surround, but the strength of Protoss units really proving strong here. Their durability is they just seem to refuse to die. The question is, can these roaches hold it up? Dancer's gonna be good to go. Brave. I mean he's making Stalker in Zerg Bane base. Uh oh, he's got he's got to get those force fields down though. We do have reinforcements coming back. Those links coming. Force field that ramp box. See if you can oh. land it. Sticks the landing with two force fields. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't even bad to play by. going down. No. Gonna lose that layer, Craig. Oh my god. I know definitely. Oh, recall. He, he could have oh, recalled. That's uh, a he did, Oh, that's a really huge mistake. That's a lot of stalkers and sentries that should have gotten out of their roaches. Now as I'm shooting the hydralis. Oh. Really great moves on Hawk as he forced with the back of that army. Now Zancer's forces are cut in half, and he can't fight this army. But still, he's gonna win this fight. He takes down the base crank, and he's gonna win the series 2-0. Recognize with the tanks and the amount of Hellions that it is, in fact, Mac. He goes back into those roaches. He never even bothered getting speed with that spire. It was literally only for these limited amount of mutas. Probably to force out a couple of Thors, force out a couple of engineering or missile turrets, rather. And it has worked. I mean, more roaches are on the way. I didn't really think that he was gonna be able to break Hart's third, to be honest. But then he just he just simply did it. Hart was even in position to stop it. Yeah, I mean, he just made a ton of roaches and now he's like battling down the natural base of heart and he's just got i really like the fact that jadon targeted down those siege tanks with his butalix and now the siege tank count for heart right now is zero yeah that's really really bad thors do pack a punch 
but they have to be covered by Hellbats, and the Hellbats have officially just gone away. Siege Tanks are going to help out. Mass Repair on the floor, but the problem is that Jinnung's not all in with this. Good As game. I say, they are doing quite significant damage to this DC. And it is planetary, <laughs> though. Planetary. I love that he anticipated the back rocks being broken by <laughs> of mech units. You don't see this too often. Yep, a run by have Siege Tanks. A couple of Hellbats. He's unit composition right now. Yeah, maybe. I can't believe there's nothing to clean up these tanks, by the way. Like, four mutas are trying their no. hardest. But. Okay, it's it's so dangerous for both parties here. The Krebs, of course, do not want to go ahead and clump up over those stores, and they kind of are <laughs> Krebs They're going so down. They're so clumped up, and all oh, the investors fall to the siege tank damage, and now he can't get that bungle off, which he so desperately desires. All of those Vikings so low in his game. Hart realizes that the Broodlords are not being attacked, tries to focus fire them now. Most of them, in fact, have gone down. I think there's only two left. Two is not enough to clean up that ground army fast enough. I think Hart might have officially broken Jadong. Yeah, look at the rally across the map. There's just like some more Hobans joining the already GG. huge ball of Mech and Hart taking game number two. They're not even Hellbats right now, and he pushed oh the Oh my All oh, but two Marines fall to that Banley ah, connection, and that was the absolutely. Widow Mine, though, is in such a prime oh. position. Oh, it just kills a Really ends here. Yeah, that was a lot of things. And he's on creep, oh, and no. he's not moving. <laughs> this <laughs> oh, is very scary. He can kind of play passive. Ooh, oh, that, that was a something. brilliant win. Oh my god. The good thing, though, for Hart is that he does have 3 3 now finished up, but the surround with the Zerglings on all of the forces might just be too much for Hart to handle. Yeah, oh, now the third base, they could have exploded the command center, and they yes, probably. There it, they goes, there it goes. There it goes. Boom. GG. Comes GG. On in. Not sure if he's going to go for the full fight. He could focus down Ooh. some of these units at the front. Picks Ooh. up though to disengage. No photon overcharge, nothing burned. Just a couple of force fields. Yeah, there's really Look at this army fight. supply. Suddenly taking a huge lead. Uh, the Colossus is out and there's more force fields available. The Wooden Mine is about to reactivate as well. The Zealot's still very slow. Wooden Mine's wishing oh. it had the range to get a focus shot. Fire. I, uh, this is like one of the only times I've ever seen someone focus fire. across the map. <laughs> Pull on the they're boys! Hitting. Let's get some hype! We'll see <laughs> if it does it. It's a small amount of boys, before. but still boys. Well, you know, whatever. They're hitting before the upgrades, and they go into a really nasty choke Second with those Colossus Vikings. Second Colossus goes down. Third going Colossus on. going down. Oh my god. That was Colossus went down so quickly. But the and now force, those force fields. They kept the zealots yes. off the marauders, so now this army gets unleashed through the choke, and there's nothing left but a small handful of stalkers. 29 armies. Amazing. But Hart hit this timing. He didn't wait for those upgrades, which would have been timed out with that storm. Gatling guns for the Vikings look so cool on the ground, even though it's the bio that's winning it, but GG! <laughs> actually using his three gateways to warp in Blink Stalkers. Oh, the wood of mine! Oh, he tried to the bait him, but... The return micro was good, too. I know, he okay, upgraded him immediately, but now it's unfortunately in range of the Observer, so he's... So whenever him. Hart can finally break out of his own base, it's really that pesky Observer, he will be able to try and return that damage. Of course, Huck did give up something to do this. You know, the gases were not taking the natural. He's on his way. There's really not that many Blink Stalkers. The Ghost, though, don't get their EMPs. I don't know if they died. I think they impede most of the Zealots, it looks like, but they die immediately anyways, and so do the, the Vikings. The Bio Force isn't looking too bad. I mean, take care of the Colossus. Maybe there's a chance. The Zealots do melt through this, despite the plus two armor upgrades. I really don't know who's going to take this fight, but the time mark looks good out of Huck. He's starting to push Hart back. Hart's running out of units. He's got no energy on these Metamax. Yeah. GG! Oh, to make. It's one unit like that, but still, everything is so critically important to holding. So, choose oh, my god. oh my god. Oh my god. He just Oh dear god. Huck was not expecting that at all. Look at Hart, too. Like, again, going back to this. Yeah, great armor upgrades, no charge. Oh, too bad the High Templars aren't ready for this, though. The Blink Stalkers are, though. But that's a lot of things coming out of that medevac. It spreads on top of the Colossus, focuses it down. Widomai's oh, going Widomai's on the Zealots. Oh, oh move! Oh. Gets some great shots. Marauders shooting oh, on top God. of the Stalkers. Hart absolutely wins with this drop here. But will this one little victory be enough? He tries to intercept the other army. Zealots coming into more Widomai's. Outside the third base, he takes some big hits, loses a lot of Zealots. Uh -oh. Pushing in oh, with the Widomai's the Colossus! Oh god, actually it's all the shots of the Colossus. The Colossus is so weak, the main's still not cleaned up. He walks the third out of the overcharge. He's gonna go down. Oh, well, uh, Colossus is actually gonna sound first. There, goes, there we there go, there it goes. Main base is at less than half health oh, as well. Yeah, it looks yep. like Hart might just have this game. No Vikings necessary. Winnemite's in, Marauders go! 